10. Well, doctors say she is lucky to be alive. Tonight, an emotional reunion between a new mother and the people who saved her life. Good for Utah's Allie Monson has the story. I'm so happy to be able to be a mom to Lucy and watch her grow up. Tears of joy after new mom Arlie Gregerson's life was almost cut short last month. Everything seemed just fine after giving birth to baby Lucy at Intermountain Medical Center in Murray. A lot of emergencies you kind of think will happen in that first 24 hours, but this happened two days later. Arlie woke up in the middle of the night to use the restroom. Her husband Ryan helped her out of bed. Suddenly she stopped talking and just kind of had this blank stare. Panicked and unable to wake his wife, Ryan recalls alerting medical staff. As soon as I pulled the string, um, uh, the lady comes on the intercom, what can I help you with? I said, my wife just passed out, can you get somebody in here? And 20 seconds later, there was three nurses in there. I mean, they were in there so quickly. It soon became clear Arlie was in serious trouble. Within minutes of suffering a rare pulmonary embolism or deadly blood clot lodged in the lungs, the new mom's heart stopped beating. People were doing CPR for a minute or two until they would get tired and then it would replace. Intermountain medical crews refused to give up. Doctors, nurses, everyone available performed chest compressions for a full hour, meanwhile pumping Arlie full of medications to keep her alive. It was when we started talking about her cute baby Lucy that she popped those eyes open and um, looked right at me. Experts call it a true medical miracle. Arlie survived and nearly six weeks later, her family meets the people who saved her life. I don't know how many people I've told this story to that say they don't have to do CPR for that long. And I don't know why you guys did. But thank you. That was Ellie Monson reporting. Tonight, mom, dad, and baby Lucy are all healthy and doing